So 2015 was an awesome, awesome year for music. And I definitely learned of a lot of new artists that blew my mind. And there were a lot of releases from artists that I love that were also just amazing. So here's my unorganized list of my favorite releases of the year. First off, Sound and Color by Alabama Shakes. And if you've ever listened to Alabama Shakes before, it's just so groovy and just mellow, but at the same time, it's got definitely a bit of grit to it. Um, just everything in this album is so good. Connector by I the Mighty. I love this band, and I Mighty has such a nice, close, tight-knit, progressive sound that's just so good. And uh, my band Pseudo Future actually got to open up for them this year, and they were just the nicest, most laid-back guys ever. Juggernaut Alpha and Juggernaut Omega by Periphery. Um, what can I say? It's Periphery. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Dropped by Brick and Mortar. Two guys making really unique and extremely engaging music. And I definitely gotta say, their live show is one of my favorites of the year. So good live. Meliora by Ghost. Uh, Ghost is a... <laughs> Ghost is a really, 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 really awesome band. And this is definitely their best album and one of the best albums of the year. Yeah. Instant Gratification by Dance Gavin Dance. Um, this is weird because I've never really cared for Dance Gavin Dance before, but this album is fantastic. Subliminal Criminals by Straight From The Path. I had never heard of this band uh, before this year, before my friend Richard had just gone on and on raving about them. And then I finally listened to them and so good. Uh, hardcore punk, aggressive, and it's just so in your face and raw. Saint Cecilia from the Foo Fighters. Um, I'm a huge Foo Fighters fan, and what's really cool is they just randomly released this one day and gave it out for free. And each song sounds very different from each other. Um, kind of like how all their albums sound different. Each song kind of sounds like it could have came from a different period, which is really cool. Purple by Baroness. Uh, let me just say, if you've never listened or heard of Baroness, listen to them right now. Think of elements from like Mastodon meets Pink Floyd and you have the beautiful love child that is Baroness and Purple to me is their best album. Milk by Better Off. I had never heard of this band before and just came across them randomly. Holy hell. Love it. Five or V by Waves. Um, I had never heard of this band before uh, which is crazy because I don't know what rock I've been under. I have really enjoyed everything I've heard from them. Uh, needless to say, uh, especially from this album, they are so fun, just a straightforward rock band, and it's just so much fun. Cannot get enough of it. Polaris by Tesseract. Uh, let me say that Altered State, the album that came out before this, is one of my favorite albums. Uh, it's progressive metal at its finest. And so Polaris really had a lot to live up to, and it did. It's great. <laughs> Hyper View by Tidal Fight. What I really, really, really enjoy about this album is how they shifted their sound and it has such a nice, groovy shoegaze feel to it that's completely different, in my opinion at least, from their other albums, but it still coincides well with their other discography. Another Eternity by Purity Ring. Uh, I'm a really big fan of Purity Ring and I actually got to see them live for the first time earlier this year and what a show they put on. It is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, their first album was great. Their second album, this one, even better. New Bermuda by Death Heaven. It's Death Heaven. You either love it or you hate it. And I love it. Grow by Chan. Uh, this is probably my most listened to album of the year. Um, just because it's so much fun. There's so many elements that bring it together that just make it so great. The Color Before the Sun from Coed and Cambria. Um, Coed and Cambria is my favorite band of all time. So yeah, I'm pretty biased. Uh, but this one's different. In a really good way. It's their first non-concept album. And it works. Completely. Um, this has a more laid-back feeling to it, but at the same time, there's a lot of classic Coheed riffs and definitely just feelings that you get from the songs that you would from the other albums too. So yeah, again, I'm biased, but it's a really good album. Drones by Muse. I love Muse. I love Muse. 
I love Muse to death. Um, fun fact, first concert I ever went to was Muse. Um, one of the things I will always applaud this band for is they always continuously change their sound. Each album is different from the previous, and this one definitely doesn't differ from that. But this one had such a gritty, hard rock sound to it that's just really, really great. On Better Terms, self-titled EP. Um, this is a bunch of great guys from Dallas who are such phenomenal musicians. And definitely this release is extremely unique. Um, melodic hardcore that's just has so many different elements to it that really, really shine. Wasatessa, Wasatusa, Wasa, Wasatusa, Tessa, Wasatusa, Wasatusa, by I Am Dynamite, um, a duo who their first album not a huge fan of, but this one spectacular, um, a, one of my most listened to albums of the year, just like Chon. It's just so addictive and sing along to every single track. It is so good. The Great Pretenders from Mini Mansions. Uh, this is a band I actually discovered last week. Um, Michael Schumann, the bassist for Queens of the Stone Age, this is his side project. And if you're a fan of the Beach Boys or the Beatles or really that poppy with a lot of great harmonies, definitely check it out. Um, this is one that I'm going to listen to for a while. Good Intent by Prestamico. I also discovered this band about a week ago and they have blown my mind. Um, I want to say they're progressive, but that doesn't do it justice. It's a trio who they're phenomenal musicians who all sing and play progressive music where there's three-part harmonies in every song. It is mind-blowing how amazing these guys are, and their music is so fantastic. Northern Face's self-titled LP. Um, I'm really glad I discovered these guys. They have such a great mix between rock and indie with a smidge of pop thrown in there that just works so well. Blurry Face by 21 Pilots. Uh, 21 Pilots, um, definitely a unique band. Um, their first album, I loved. This one, I had to listen to quite a few times to really get it, but once I really got used to it, loved it. Vitals by Mute Beth. I love this band, and all their albums are fantastic. Odd Soul is definitely my favorite out of all their releases, but Vitals is so different from everything else, and it just works so well. I love all the different things they worked with with this album and I would definitely say it's just you have to experience it. And so those are my favorites of the year that at least I can think of right now. Um, I didn't get to listen to everything I wanted to listen to and I definitely definitely didn't hear everything that came out for the year but this is just what my opinion is. I would love to know what your favorite releases are. And thank you so much for 2015, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing everything with your friends. I honestly cannot tell you how much it means to me and just how much fun I have making these videos. Thank you guys so much. I'm... Uh... uh.